just in case mm. um, the pace goes up mm -hmm. and so that thing over there is called an autocue right <laughs> So uh, introduce yourself, mm -hmm. uh, just like we always do. I guess uh, when you're watching us from the other side mm. of your living room, right. we tend to introduce ourselves. So right. just just take it away. Let's see how you're gonna fare. You'll tell me. You'll count me in. Yeah, you can. You can go ahead. Okay, go start. Ahead and do it. Yeah, sure. Hey, which camera do I look at? Right there. Oh, there. Yeah. Hey, hi. My name is Bruce. Well, Pope Francis is expected to hold a mass for nearly one million people at Nairobi's Uhuru Park when he arrives in Kenya next month. State House. Through its spokesman, Manuel Spisu has also confirmed that the head of Catholic Church will hold bilateral talks with President Uhuru Kenyatta, with the Pope to expect to carry a message of hope and peace in his first African tour. When Pope Francis arrives in Kenya in exactly 33 days, millions of Catholic faithful in Kenya will be pregnant with the expectation of a message of love, peace and reconciliation from the global head of the Catholic Church. And the message from State House over the visit is clear, that it is all systems go. We will then hold bilateral talks uh, at, at State House with the President, uh, as well as other senior, um, meet other senior government officials. The Pope is expected to receive the highest honor given to any foreign dignitary visiting the country, a 21-gun salute from Kenya's military. He is then expected to address the nation live from State House. The best is being done to get uh, all uh, logistical provisions and the schools and hotels and pastoral centers and guest houses have been uh, alerted to prepare for that. May the Lord open the hearts. Pope Francis was elected to head the Catholic Church on the 13th of March 2013 and will be making his maiden visit to the continent since his election. But over the last year, the head of the security at the Vatican has expressed concern over the security of the Pope following a rise in religious extremist groups, a concern that State House says has been covered. During his three-day visit, the Pope, known for his love for the youth, is expected to hold a brief session at the University of Nairobi before heading to Uhuru Park for a mass that may attract up to one million faithful. The Pope will also address the youth at the Kasarani Stadium on his final day with the hope that the message of peace resonates from the young generation. The numbers invited to the event are nearly 200,000, which means that the stadium itself will be covered the outflow area, the, 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 the warm-up area will be covered by more people than the people outside, inside. Pope Francis will also visit Kangemi that houses about 20,000 Christian Catholic before proceeding to Uganda in an African tour that will have him end up at the Central African Republic. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.